Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. If you watched our last lesson on solving multi-step equations, hopefully you'll know how to solve this, this equation, 2x minus 3 equals 1. First, I'd need to undo that, subtract 3, so I'd add 3 to both sides of the equation. Then I'd want to undo that, multiply by 2, so I'd divide both sides of the equation by 2. And when I got done, I'd have x equals 2. Pretty simple, just a two-step equation. I had two steps to perform, and I solved the equation. Well, what about this one? This is much more complicated. I don't know where to begin. Well, you're going to learn where to begin today. And what if I were to tell you that this equation is just a variation of this equation? and that they both have the same solution, x equals 2. Well, in this lesson, we're going to learn some of the rules required to simplify big expressions like this to make them simple two-step equations like the one at the top. So this lesson's about simplifying the equation. And to do that, we're going to tr use a couple of different rules. We're going to always try to combine like terms. We're going to use the distributive property appropriately. And we're going to verify our solutions. And you're going to discover that there's more than one way to get from point A to point B. 4x minus 6 plus 3x plus 5 equals 9. And obviously I want to solve this for x. I want to simplify this equation so much, so completely, that it reads x equals something. Well, you're going to discover that combining like terms is really one of the most powerful ways to simplify an equation. I've got a couple of x terms in this equation. I've got a 4x and a plus 3x. And I've got some constant number terms, too. I've got a minus 6, a plus 5, and a plus 9. Well, I can combine my 4x and my 3x that are both on the left side of the equation, and I get positive 7x. And then I can combine the like terms on the left side of the equation, and I'll get minus 1, and that'll equal the constant number on the right side of the equation, 9. So I've simplified that equation to 7x minus 1 equals 9. But I've still got more like terms that could be combined. I've got a minus 1 and a positive 9. Now remember we talked about the fact that there's probably more than one way to solve any equation? Well, there's more way than one way to solve this. I could move the minus 1 over to this side of the equation so both of my constant numbers were on the right side. Or I can move my 9 to this side of the equation so both of my constant numbers were on the le left side of the equal sign. Let's do that first. I'm going to move that positive 9 to the left side of the equal sign. And it's the sign of the 9 will change to minus 9. And on the right, I'm going to have 9 minus 9, or 0. And when I simplify this, I've got 7x minus 10 equals 0. Well, there was another way we could have attacked this. We could have taken this minus 1 and moved it over here. And you know, that may make more sense, because what I'm trying to accomplish is to get my x on one side of the equation, isolated by itself, and all my constant numbers on the other side of the equation. So I may want to just start right out and move the constant numbers to the other side of the equal sign from the x. When I do that, I've got 7x equals 9 plus 1, or 7x equals 10. And if I divide both sides of that by 7, I get x equals 10 over 7. 
Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Well, I can see I've got some like terms on both sides of this equation, so I, I think I'll try to combine like terms. And, you know, I could move my 4z over to this side of the equation and combine it with the 2z, or I could move my 2z over to this side of the equation and combine it with the 4z. Which direction makes most sense to you? Well, I think I want to move this 2z over to this side of the equation because when I move this positive 2z to the right side of the equation it becomes negative 2z and when I subtract 2z from 4z I'm gonna have a positive number a positive 2z if I go the other direction and move the 4z over here I'm gonna have negative 2z and negative numbers are a little more complicated to work with so I'm gonna take my 2z and I'm going to move it to the right side of the equation. But then I want all my constant numbers on the other side of the equation, so I'm going to take my minus 9 and move it to the left side of the equation. And when I do that, I'm going to get 2z minus 2z plus 3 plus 9 equals 4z minus 2z minus 9 plus 9. When I simplify that, I get 12 equals 2z I divide both sides of the equation by 2, and I get z equals 6. Well, what about this one? I've got 4 times the expression x plus 2 equals 12. And I need to simplify that, and I need to change it so it says x equals something. So I, I can see those parentheses are just getting in my way, and I need to get rid of them. Now, there's two ways I can get rid of them. First, I could just use the distributive property. I'd multiply the 4 times both the x and the 2, and I'd get 4x plus 8 equals 12. Then I'd subtract 8 from both sides of the equation, and I'd get 4x equals 12 minus 8, or 4x equals 4. Then I'd divide both sides of the equation by 4, and I'd get x equals 1. Well, that wasn't that hard, but there's another way to solve this equation. I've got 4 times the expression x plus 2. So I could divide both sides of the, expre of the equation by 4 to get rid of that 4 times. Then it would read 4 times x plus 2 divided by 4 equals 12 divided by 4. That would simplify to x plus 2 equals 3 I subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, and I get x equals 3 minus 2, or x equals 1. Same solution, two different routes to get there. You try this one. And let me warn you, there's more than one way to solve this equation. But there's not a, a right way to solve it. There's a right answer, there's a correct answer, but there's more than one way and they're both good ways to solve the equation. Hit your pause button, solve the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to my answer. Well, there's more than one way to solve this. Here's one way. I could use the distributive property to multiply the 3 times the expression 2a plus 3 and get 6a plus 9 equals 12. Then I could su subtract 9 from both sides of the equation and I get 6a equals 3. Then, to get rid of that 6 that's being multiplied by a, I could use the inverse operation. I could divide by 6. And then I'd get a equals 3 divided by 6, or 0.5. But there's another way I could solve this expression. I could divide both sides of the equation by 3. When I did that, I'd get 2a plus 3 equals 4. Now I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. 
and I get 2a equals 1. And then I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2, and I get the same answer this time too. I get a equals 0.5. All right, I got 3x plus 6 equals 2 times x minus 1. Now, there's a couple of ways I could go about this. I can see I want to get rid of these parentheses because they're, they're going to really just confuse things. So I could divide both sides of the equation by 2. But if I do that, then on the left side of the equation, I got 3x plus 6 divided by 2. That, that sounds confusing to me. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use the distributive property and just expand 2 times the expression x minus 1. When I do that, I get 3x plus 6 equals 2x minus 2. Now, once again, I could move this 2x over here, or I could move this 3x over here so that all my x's were on one side of the equation. And I think I want to move my 2x over to here, because that way I've got, when I move this 2x to the other side of the equation, it's going to change to a negative 2x. And when I subtract 2x from 3x, I'm going to end up with a positive x. So let's go about it that way. On the left side of the equation, I've got 3x minus 2x. This 2x, which was positive, moved over here to the left side of the equation and became negative. Then I'm going to move my plus 6 to the right side of the equation. And I'm going to get equals minus 2 minus 6. Now I combine like terms and I get x equals minus 8. Well, I'm pretty sure that x equals minus 8 is a solution to the equation. But I can verify to make sure I'm correct. All I got to do is substitute minus 8 for x in the original equation. And if it turns out to be equal, that proves that minus 8 is the solution to the equation. Let's do that. Instead of 3 times x, I'm going to have 3 times minus 8 plus 6 equals 2 times the expression minus 8 minus 1. That simplifies to minus 24 plus 6 equals minus 16 minus 2. And that simplifies to minus 18 equals minus 18. So, x does equal minus 8. You try this one. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to my answer. Alright, well let's solve for x. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and distribute that 1.5 into the expression 2x plus 4. When I do that, I get 3x plus 6 equals 12. Now, I want to get rid of that plus 6. I want to do the opposite of adding 6. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. And when I do, I get 3x equals 6. Now, I need to get rid of that 3. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. And when I divide 3x by 3, I get x. And when I divide 6 by 3, I get 2. So x equals 2. Well, I'm pretty sure that's correct, but I can verify that's correct by putting 2 into the original equation everywhere there was an x. And when I do that, I get 1.5 times 2 times 2 plus 4 equals 12. A lot of confusing PEMDAS stuff here, but I'm going to multiply that 2 times the 2 first. And I'll get 1.5 times 4 plus 4 equals 12. That's 1.5 times 8 equals 12. And that's 12 equals 12. That's part two of solving multi-step equations. I hope by now you feel fairly comfortable with this. Now it's time to go to www.mastermath.info where you can download worksheets and quizzes 
and test your knowledge about solving multi-step equations. I hope you had a good time today. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope we see you again real soon.